So those two trainers decided to challenge the law that got their licenses suspended over the summer. Charles McClellan and Natasha Nemeth had 24 violations between them of their dogs testing positive for cocaine metabolites and their licenses were suspended. Today, a judge said some of those rules used against them are invalid. So this all came down to the manual that the state has been using. It's a 2010 Greyhound Veterinary Assistant Procedures Manual. And the state has been using it for years to determine when a dog has been drugged and how to take those samples before or after a race. But a judge found that that manual was deemed invalid years ago by the court yet the state continued to use it. Now this may have implications for other pending cases or even previous cases involving drug tests. There are still parts of this case the judge has yet to rule on, but those on both sides of this issue say the judge the, excuse me, the judge striking down these drug testing rules could affect the racing industry as a whole. We'll have more on this new development coming up tonight at 6. For now reporting from the Information Center, Julia Janae, First Coast News.